हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एकेडमिक मेड इजी पीसी इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सब्सक्राइब इट एंड आल्सो क्लिक द बेल आइकन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग एक्सरसाइज 4.1 फ्रॉम द चैप्टर डिटरमिनेंट्स ऑफ क्लास 12 सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेसिक एक्सरसाइज एंड एन इजी एक्सरसाइज सो इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी विल बी लर्निंग अ बेसिक सम्स एंड हाउ टू इवैल्यूएट द डिटरमिनेंट्स एंड वी विल बी यूजिंग सम फॉर्मूलास इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द सॉल्यूशंस सो नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन इवैल्यूएट द डिटरमिनेंट्स क्वेश्चन 1 a determinant is given so now first let me name this determinant so let a determinant is equal to 2 4 minus 5 minus 1 okay D evaluate the determinant means we will be finding the solution for this determinant already in the introduction part i have taught you how to evaluate i have given the formula so now let's get started so determinant of a which is 2 by 2 matrix will be a11 into a22 minus a21 into a12 this is a formula isn't it so now we will be substituting the values so what is my a11 a11 is 2 into a22 is minus 1 i have clearly taught you what is a11 a what is a22 and the entire formula in the introduction part so i will be doing it fast over here if you have not watched that video i will attach the link in the description box watch it for better understanding so here my this is x method no that is what i am writing so 2 into minus 1 minus what is my 2 1 1 2 is here minus 5 into what is my 4 so here i will have minus 2 minus into minus plus 5 fours are 20 so minus 2 plus 20 is 18 so this is my answer question 2 subdivision 1 they have given a determinant so now we will be finding the solution that is evaluating the determinant so now as i did for the previous question let me name this determinant as b so determinant b is equal to cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta so in the previous chapter itself i said no when we have some trigonometric sums then it ends with either 0 or 1 mostly you know so according to that let's see now so i will be using x method it's not that we have to write formulas for each and every question we can just write it directly so i will be using the x method so b is equal to so cos theta into cos theta so cos theta into cos theta is cos square theta minus see here minus into plus is minus so i am writing minus over here sin theta into sin theta is sin square theta so next i will have cos square theta as it is plus a minus into minus is plus sin theta sin square theta so we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 i will be writing my answer as 1 so this is the required solution for the given determinant so second subdivision a determinant is given so i have uh, taken the determinant as c so let c is equal to the given determinant so now i will start evaluating so here also i will be using the x method only so so c is equal to x square minus x plus 1 into x plus 1 minus this one okay so x plus 1 into x minus 1 so whatever properties you are using you have to mention it aside so see here this is of the form a plus b into a minus b no so a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square no so we will be using that property and evaluating this one so c is equal to i will be multiplying this inside so x cube and Minus x square plus x 
and this one plus x square minus x plus 1 minus so this one will become x square minus 1 so c is equal to x square and x square will get cancelled because same value with minus sign no so x and minus x also will get cancelled so x cube plus 1 minus i will be taking this minus inside so x square minus into minus plus 1 so c is equal to x cube minus x square plus 2 so this is the required solution question 3 if a matrix is given then show that determinant of 2a is equal to 4 determinant a so this formula we have already learned no so if uh, k determinant determinant ka is equal to k power n a yes no since this is 2 by 2 matrix c 2a was there k value is 2 here and when we bring it out this is 2 by 2 matrix so 2 power 2 into a this is a formula no i said we will be using some formulas isn't it that's this formula only we will be using here so we already know this formula but still we have to show it over here so 2a is given no a matrix is given 2a means what 2 times the matrix so 2a is equal to 2 into 1 2 4 2 i have already taught you if some constant is before a matrix it means that it belongs to each and every element that is it will be multiplied with each and every element so my matrix a will become 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 2 4s are 8 2 2s are 4 so this is the required matrix for 2a so i will be taking 2a determinant 2a is equal to 2 4 8 so now I will start using my x method. So I will have 2 4 za 8 minus 4 uh, 8 za 32. So 8 minus 32 is minus 24. Okay. So 2a is equal to minus 24. Let this be equation 1. I will be taking for 4, 4 into determinant a. So, what is uh, my determinant A? 1, 2, 4, 2. So, here also I will be using the X method. So, 4 into 1, uh, one 2 is 2 minus 4 into 2 is 8. Okay. So, if you have any doubts, please mention it in the comment box. 4 into 2 minus 8 is minus 6. What is uh, 4, 6 are minus 24. So, 4 into determinant A. Let this be equation 2. If we check equation 1 and 2, equation 1 is equal to equation 2. No. So, LHS is equal to RHS. Hence, proved. That's it. Question 4. If matrix A is given, then show that determinant of 3A is equal to 27 into determinant A. So, like previous sum only, we will be doing it. So, first, now we will be finding for 3A. Okay. So, 3 into A means 3 into the matrix A. No, matrix A is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 4. So, this is the my uh, matrix so 3a is equal to i will be multiplying this inside so what will i have 3 0 3 0 3 6 0 0 12 so this is my required matrix so now i will start to find the determinant that is 3a determinant so 3 0 0 0 3 0 6 0 12 so this is the determinant isn't it so now i will just teach you a trick or a method or a standard form where you can do it okay so this will be very easy now instead of always doing with first column or first row always just 
thing where you have mostly zeros okay see when you see the first column you have two zeros and if you check the second column also you have two zeros and here you don't have any zero and if you check here you have one zero the second row one zero the third row also you have two zeros so you just go with the column or row which has more zeros okay so now for time being i will be going with the first column so now i will say that i am expanding through first column why because i have lots of zeros over here i will teach you very clearly so i will write expanding You have to mention all these C1. C1 here represents column 1. So, I am going to expand these through column 1. So, determinant of 3A is equal to, I will be taking this column. No, So, 3 into, so I will be hiding this, this column and this row. So, what are remaining? 3, 6, 0, 12. So, next this is odd position. No? So, I will take minus 0 into what is this? If I, I will be hiding this and this. So, 0, 3, 0, 12. Plus, this is an even position. So, I am taking plus. So, 0 into so 0, 3, 3, 6. Okay, so I have taken this now. See here, 0 into something is always 0. Here also, 0 into something is always 0. So, this element and this element I will be cancelling. Why? Because 0. Both also 0. I, we can't do anything with 0, isn't it? So, I will be cancelling this 0. 3a is equal to 3 into 3. 6, 0, 12. So, now I will be expanding this. So, 3 into I will be using the x method. We already learnt, isn't it? So, 3 twelves are 36 minus 0 into 6 is 0. So, what is 3 into 36? 108. So, let this be equation 1. My uh, determinant of 3a is equation 1. So, my right hand side says that 27 into determinant TA. 27 into what is my determinant TA? 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 4. Okay, so now also I will be just seeing which column or row has more number of zeros. Since in the previous step I did with column I, now i will just do it with row to make you very clear that however we do we will get the same answer you all might be conf uh, confused isn't it so now however you want you can do you can do with column itself so always just see where you have more number of zeros and then look into it so i'm uh, expanding through row 3 so expanding through R3 means row 3. So here 27 into determinant A is equal to 27 into. So see 0 and 0 in the last uh, LHS it's in LHS itself we cancelled only no. So instead of multiplying and wasting our time with zeros, we can just skip these zero so this zero and this zero will we will be skipping and this is we have to check whether it is odd position or even position this is three three no so three plus three is six which is even so it will be plus only so four so i will be hiding this uh, column and this row so what is remaining one zero zero one so this is only remaining there so what will i have 27 into determinant a is equal to 27 into 4 into i will be using the x method so one minus zero so 
27 into determinant a is equal to 27 into 4. So now what is 27 into 4? It is 108. So let this be equation 2. So if we check equation 1 and 2, equation 1 is equal to equation 2. So my LHS is equal to RHS, hence proved. That's it. Question 5. Evaluate the determinants and some 4 subdivisions are given. We will be finding the solution for the determinants which is all is 3 by 3 determinants. So subdivision 1. So a determinant is given. So now let me write this determinant as determinant A. So determinant A is equal to 3 minus 1 minus 2 0 0 minus 1 3 minus 5 0. So now as I said in the previous question itself just expand through the column or row which has more number of zeros. So if I check over here my row 2 has more number of zeros. No. So I will be expanding my determinant through row 2. So expanding So, if you write all these, we, we may get some half a mark. So, you have to mention through which row you are expanding. So, I am expanding through row 2. So, my determinant A is equal to, here it is 0, 0. So, I, I, may, I can skip these two steps and directly go over here. So, to make my answer very simple or my method simple i am going for the row which has more number of zeros so here minus one so this is two three no so the position here it is two three a two three no so two plus three is odd so odd positions are always negative so i will write negative of minus one so i will be hiding this and this row so what is remaining three minus one three minus five so three minus one three minus five so the i will be taking the determinant of it so i will be using the x method so plus minus into minus is plus one so what is my determinant over here three minus fifteen is minus fifteen minus of 3 into minus 1 so now minus 15 minus into minus is plus 3 so what is my answer here minus 12 so this is my answer for the determinant subdivision 2 a determinant is given so let me write this determinant as determinant b so my determinant b is 3 minus 4 5 1 1 2 3 2 1 so since i don't have any zeros in any position i will just see a number which will be easy for me so one is always easy for everyone isn't it so i have more number of one in row 2 okay so however you want you can do it but what i'm doing is that we have to make our steps simple no we have to make our method simple so only i'm using the row or column which has more number of zeros or the easy numbers okay however we do we will get the same answer so now for this uh, question i'm expanding through row 2 R2 here it is row 2. So now I have my determinant B is equal to. So first here 1. Is this odd or even position? This is 2, 1. No. So this is even uh, odd position. So here it will be negative 1. So what is my determinant? This and this uh, row and column will uh, leave. So minus 4, 5, 2. 1 plus because this is even position so 1 into so 3 5 3 1 3 5 3 1 
so here it is odd position so minus 2 so what is the determinant over here this and this i will leave so 3 minus 4 3 2 so 3 minus 4 3 2 okay so now minus 1 i will keep as it is so now i will start using x method for the determinants so minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 minus 2 5s are 10 plus 3 1s are 3 minus 3 5s are 15 minus 2 into 3 2s are 6 minus 3 into minus 4 so now I will start simplifying. So minus 1 into minus 10 minus 4 is minus 14 plus. So what is uh, 3 minus 15 minus 12. And here minus 2 into 6 plus 12. So here I will have 14 minus into minus plus. So minus 12 minus 2 into 18. So, 14 minus 2 is 2 minus, so, 36. So, what is my answer here? Minus 34. This is the required answer for the given determinant. Subdivision 3, a determinant is given. So, now I am going to write this determinant as determinant C. So, let determinant C is equal to the given determinant which is 1, 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, 0, minus 3, 3, 0. So, now this is a given determinant and now I will check through which column or row I can expand see however it is i don't have i have zero in every column or every rows only one zero is there so now if i take this column i have negative signs which will make me complicated so here let me go with this row itself that is the first row so now i will write that i'm expanding through row one So now I am expanding through row 1. No. So determinant C is equal to. So 0 is always 0 only. So I am skipping this. So now I will check that whether this is odd position or even position. This is odd position. No. So this will be minus 1. And here it will be 1. No. So this and the first row will be invisible. So minus 1, minus 3, minus 2, 0. So, minus 1, minus 3, minus 2, 0. And this is even position. So, positive. So, 2 into. So, minus 1, minus 2, 0, 3. So, now I will start simplifying. So, minus 1 into. I will start using x method. So, 0 minus of. Minus into minus plus 2, uh, 3 is a 6 plus 2 into here also x method so minus 3 minus 0 so minus 1 into minus 6 is plus 6 and here it is plus 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 so the answer will be 0 that's it Subdivision 4, a determinant is given. So, now I am going to write the determinant as so determinant D. So, let this D be. So, 2 minus 1 minus 2, 0, 2 minus 1, 3 minus 5, 0. So, now let me check. I have negative signs over here. So, I am just skipping. And here also I have negative signs. Here also negative sign where I don't have negative sign in the first column. So, I will say that I am expanding through column 1. So, whichever is easy for you, you can do. For me, when, it, when we don't have so many negative signs, it will be easy. So, only I am taking through column 1 to make a method very very simple so i will take my determinant d as so first here it is even position so directly i can write two alone so two so this and the first row will be hidden so two minus one minus five zero so two minus one minus five zero 
and here it is odd position and it is zero so i'm just skipping so here it is even position so plus 3 into and this column and this row will get hidden and minus 1 minus 2 2 minus 1 so minus 1 minus 2 2 minus 1 so now i will start simplifying so 2 into i will use x method so 0 minus you know, minus into minus is plus 5 plus 3 into minus into minus is plus 1 minus 2 into minus 2 so determinant d is equal to 2 into minus 5 is minus 10 plus 3 into 1 minus minus of minus is plus so uh, 1 plus 4 is 5 so determinant d is equal to minus 10 plus 15 so determinant d is equal to 5 so this is the answer question 6 if matrix a is given we have to find the determinant of the given matrix so matrix a is already given so now i will just check which will be easy for me so now if i check i have more number of ones over here and i have negative sign also so let me take this column column 2 so now i will say that i am expanding through column 2 whichever is easy you can take i am taking column 2 so my determinant a will be so first here this is one tooth position so this is even odd position so i will have minus one into so this and that will get hidden so two minus three and uh, 5 minus 9 and here it is even position so plus 1 into my determinant is 2 sorry 1 minus 2 5 minus 9 minus so this is odd position no so i will have so this and this will get hidden so 1 4 into 1 minus 2 2 minus 3 so now i will start expanding so determinant a is equal to minus 1 into minus 18 minus into minus is plus 15 plus 1 into 1 into minus 9 is minus 9 plus into minus is plus sorry minus into minus is plus so 10 minus 4 into minus 3 plus 4 since you are very very familiar i am doing it little fast so determinant a is equal to minus 1 into minus 3 plus 1 into 1 minus 4 into 1 so a is equal to 3 plus 1 minus 4 so again determinant a in the sixth question is also equal to 0 question 7 if x is some variable find x if two equal determinants are given so now c equal matrices is different from equal determinants okay so here we can't equate the corresponding elements for determinant we have to find the determinant then then we have to equate it so directly i'm going to equate i'm not going to split or do anything if you want you can split and do also so here i will be using the x method so here i will have 2 minus 5 fours are 20 is equal to here also x method so 2 x square minus what is the 6 fours are 24 so now i will be minus 18 is equal to 2 x square minus 24 so here 24 minus 18 i'm taking this to my left hand side 2x square so i will have 6 is equal to 2x square so x square is equal to 6 divided by 2 so x square is equal to 3 so my x is equal to plus or minus root 3 so this is my answer 
so subdivision 2 here also i have uh, two uh, determinants that is equal so now i will write the solution so using x method so 2 5s are 10 minus 4 3s are 12 is equal to here also x method so i will have 5x minus 6x so minus 2 is equal to minus 6 5 minus 6 is minus 1 so here minus and minus will get cancelled so my x value is 2 that's it over by the end of the exercise we have one one more questions isn't it by the end of this volume i will make a video for all the chapters one word answers if you have any doubts mention it in the comment box like comment share and subscribe